Hi, I'm Zor. Welcome to Inuzor Education. Um, this is the second lecture in the category of simple identities. Um, we have already proven a couple of simple identities in the previous lecture. I'll just continue um, uh, talking about these identities and uh, they are as simple, uh, just need a little explanation, maybe that's it. So, let me just start one by one. Sine of pi over 2 plus phi equals to cosine of phi. Well, let me put here something which we have actually learned before on the previous lecture. Sine of phi is equal to cosine of pi pi over 2 minus phi, and cosine of phi is equal to sine of pi over 2 minus phi. Very obvious in the case of acute angles and, and right triangles, because these two angles complement each other to 90 degree. Now, this is a slightly different thing. However, however, we did learn some other properties of the sign. And that's exactly what I'm going to apply here. Um, well, you can call it a trick or something which just came to my mind. Why did I do it? Well, I don't know, but that's exactly the purpose of going through all these problems to kind of introduce you to certain, well, tricks if you wish. I know that sine of pi minus phi is exactly the same as sine of phi, right? Remember why? Because if this is phi and this is phi, then this is phi minus phi. Phi minus phi. So this point and this point, they are symmetrical and their ordinates which are sine. Sine is an ordinate of the, of the point the y-coordinate, if you wish. Uh, obviously the same. They project to the same point here. This is the ordinate, this is the sign. So I'll use this property. So instead of this, I can write sine of pi minus pi over 2 minus, minus phi, right? That's the same thing. If this is an angle, this is pi minus angle. And these are exactly the same. Now, this is sine of pi minus 2, pi over 2 minus 5. And using one of the equa equations which we have already proven before, I can see that this is equal to cosine of that. That's it. So, a little trick was to remember that pi minus phi has exactly the same sign as, as a phi, and I substitute, instead of this angle, pi minus this angle, which is this, without changing the value of the function. And then everything actually follows. And I will use the same trick everywhere for all these little identities which I have to prove. Cosine of pi over 2 plus phi is equal to minus sine of phi. Now, again, remember what is a cosine. Cosine is abscissa, and these two, which is phi and pi minus phi, their abscissas are equal in absolute value and opposite in signs, right? So cosine of pi minus phi is equal to minus cosine of phi. So that's what I'm going to use. And I will use it exactly here. So instead of this, I will put minus. This is the minus, right? Cosine of pi minus this, which is pi minus pi over 2 minus phi equals minus cosine of pi over 2 minus phi. Now, cosine of pi, pi over 2 minus phi is equal to sine. Now we have a minus sign, 
and that's what it is. That's equal. So I'm using exactly the same trick, and I'll use it in other cases as well. Now, other cases are tangent of phi over 2 plus phi is equal to minus cotangent phi. Well, let's do it this way. I know the tangent, by definition, is sine over cosine, right? So it's no big deal, really, if I will use this. Right? And replace their values with whatever I have already found before. Sine of pi over 2 would be cosine of phi. Cosine of pi over 2 my, uh, plus phi would be minus sine phi. Now, what is cosine over sine? That's a cotangent and the minus sine. So that's how we can prove it. Next is... cotangent equals minus tangent. Exactly the same thing. What is cotangent? It's a cosine over sine. By definition, equals cosine of pi over 2 plus phi uh, is minus sine minus sine phi. Sine of pi over 2 is cosine. Now, what is sine over cosine? It's tangent. And minus sine, here it is. So there it goes. That's the proof. A couple of more. Exactly the same way, using the definition and the previously proven identities. Secant of pi over 2 plus phi is equal to minus cosecant of phi. What's the definition of secant? 1 over cosine. Now, cosine of pi over 2 plus phi uh, plus phi is minus sine. So it's minus sine of phi. What is 1 over sine? It's a cosecant and a minus sine. So that's equality. And the last one is cosecant of pi over 2 plus phi equals secant of phi. Same thing. Cosecant is 1 over sine. Now, sine of pi over 2 plus phi is equal to cosine of phi. And this is the definition of a secant. End of story. All right. So um, I do suggest you to go through the notes for this lecture at unizor.com. And uh, just do it yourself. It's a very simple uh, exercise, and it will prepare you for something more difficult. <laughs> that will be the next lectures. Anyway, good luck. Thank you.